Welcome back, you degenerates, to the weekly wave wire pickup. This past weekend, we got hit hard with injuries, and thanks to Halloween, they were slashing them all down. We have a lot to say and a lot to do, so let's kick it off. I feel like I just have to go over injuries this past weekend with you. Derek Henry, out for the year with a foot injury. He's about to have surgery. James Winston, torn ACL. He's out for the season. James Robinson. Heard his heel day to day, but they might keep him out. Let's see. But let's go into Wade Wire. I'll tell you exactly how you're going to fix your issue. Today, the Tennessee Titans signed future Hall of Fame to be their lead back on first and second downs. I'm telling you, first and second downs, Adrian Peterson is now going to be the back. He needs to learn the playbook. I got to see his football shape. I'm not sure exactly how many beers he was drinking on the weekends, but going forward, pick him up. He might save your team. If you had Derrick Henry. Yes, I'm adding two Tennessee running backs to this wave wire pickup. Jeremy McNichols, 6% roster owned. He is mainly the passing down back until AP can come and get his foot wet, learn the playbook, get in game shape. I expect him to get the workload. He's already passing down back and he will continue even with AP in there. So let's see how he does, especially with that uh, uh, offense not being able to run the clock. They might need to pass it down a lot more. So add German Mid Nichols. You're going to love it. I'm telling you, add Taysom Hill. The Saints QB that's going to replace Jameis. All right. The main reason why you can never not have a running QB on your team. You don't want to know why? He's going to get those rushing yards. He's going to get rushing touchdowns. And hopefully, with that offense, he's able to provide something Jameis hasn't. Because guess what? Jameis kind of looked like shit all year round anyway. So. We're going to go in-depth on our podcast about exactly how Taysom Hill is going to influence this team. But I'll tell you, Adam, because guess what? He's going to have more than 50 yards rushing each game. Jordan Howard, 2% roster owned. The reason why you're picking him up, touchdowns, 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 touchdowns. He's a goal line back. You have uh, Boston Scott, Midget, Mini-Me, whatever you want to call him. He's my height, all right? Don't take offense. Small people belong in this world, too, all right? Gainwell, I'm sorry, can't help it. He's trash. He doesn't deserve, deserve to be on the field, clearly, because he should have been the main back. But Jordan Howard, guess what? Goal lines, skin touchdowns, add him on your team, because you need touchdowns. Last but not least, Carlos Hyde, go pick him up. James Robinson injury is devastating to some. Uh, he, he has a heel. It's just day to day, but don't be shocked if he is actually out this upcoming week. Um, what's more shocking is that he had eight targets for four catches, 40 yards. I thought it would go to Agnew and be more of an impact on the running and passing game with that Percy Harvin type player. Um, but Carlos Hyde clearly was the number one. So go pick him up. Hopefully he doesn't. 